effort, effort to be talent. Yeah, I don't know if you saw GQ just said the way so she came out, they're like ranking like the worst sports fans, like top 15, okay. and they put the Lakers as 15. And uh, I guess their contention. The fans? Like, yeah. Because in, in the stadium, not outside. Yeah. The, the contention was like, you know, they're stargazing, they're fair weather and all that. But I mean, what is, Yeah, because what I, just, you I just think, um, I think over here in uh, LA, they don't understand. Like, you got fans that got like energy, you got fans that got swag. And LA fans, we be laid back, we got our shades on, you know, we got our Grey Poupon. I know some fans travel with Grey Poupon. How many How many <laughs> fans you know travel with Grey Poupon? I don't know. Huh? I've never met one. The front row, right. on the floor. Fans, great poupon. They got little nice silverwares and stuff in there, just in case they want to get a slice of steak or some cavi caviar. We got caviar, Staples Center. What else we got, you know? We got we got ladies dancing, you know? We got swag, so that's what they don't understand about the L.A. fans. Well, I think, I mean, that's what they were saying. Yeah. I mean, it's, not, it's not that we're not the worst fans, we just got swag, right. you know? How many fans are gonna come to the game with Grey Poupon and just whip out some bread? You know what I mean? And just start making some Grey Poupon sandwich. Like right. that's made, how we do. You made a point that you're, they're talking about the fans in the stadium, the fans outside. And the fans outside how is hardcore. How are they? Different? I, I tell you how they're different. You go into any neighborhood um, <laughs> outside of the Staples Center. And talk about the Lakers is not good, you know. They show you how passionate they are. Yeah. Any uh, memorable experiences? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say nothing. No. I ain't gonna say nothing. But you got good. You got a lot of fans with swag. Then we got the fans, you know. But the fans, you know, with the swag, they paid it. You know, they paying for the seats. The seats is uh, yeah. overpriced, and they paying for them. You know. So it's now, good. So now that you're a Laker, you still celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Or? Yeah, I celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So you still wear. I, I, I celebrate for St. Patrick's Day. Everybody does, since I was a kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, I celebrate St. Patrick's Day. It's not like the only day. Is today St. Patrick's Day? Yeah. Wow. I'm going so, on Venice tonight if you want. I'll get you a drink. Why, that's why you got them green? Yeah. I'm Irish. Wow. You Irish? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you on that offer. What? What? Uh, Venice. Townhouse in Venice today. <laughs> Will y'all have your own party and drink? Yeah. I don't, I don't drink. Sometimes hold, you hold, hold, hold. Only sometimes, yeah. but not really. Yeah. Not really. Uh, I, I want to ask you what Mark was asking you about the Lakers fans, but G GQ was ranked among the 15 worst fans in the world. Yeah, as I was saying, we got swag. You know, there's not many fans that have swag. A lot of fans got a lot of energy, but LA, 